Another live workout. It is Sunday afternoon. I'm currently enjoying uh, all the things that the NFL has to offer. Sunday is one of my favorite days. Uh, there's games on in the background all day around here. I'm in two, fun, or, uh, two uh, fantasy football leagues. I was going to say Final Fantasy. You can tell that I'm a huge nerd. I love role-playing games. Dragon Warrior, Final Fantasy, uh, Magic the Gathering, Lord of the Rings, all things nerds I love. But I digress. Uh, NFL football is always on in the background. We're watching some fantasy football, but I always try to do something physical on a Sunday uh, for a couple of reasons that I want to talk to you about while I train. Uh, the number one reason, there are 52 Sundays in a year. That's 52 chances to get better. I just released a video on Real Talk called uh, Fuck Your Rest Day. And basically what I mean by that is a lot of people arbitrarily take Sunday off just because. Like they just take Sunday off because they're supposed to take Sunday off. Use 52 days a year. That's a huge percentage of your year. And you combine that with the fact that people rarely train on a Saturday either. Now you're losing 104 days a year. That's a 30 year year almost gone just because you think you deserve some time off. So. On Sunday, I am always doing something. Um, now, the other reason I do something is because, frankly, it makes me feel better. I always feel better when I move. A uh, recipe for depression is sitting on a couch all day with your face in the Netflix, your hand in a bag of Doritos, your other hand down your pants. Like, that's not going to do good for you. you got to move your body. Your body wants to move. You could actually do an experiment. If you worked out on a Sunday and went for a walk on a Sunday, you would feel great on a Monday. If you sat on a couch all day on a Sunday and did absolutely nothing, on Monday you'd feel like trash. And so I was talking about you lose Saturday and Sunday, which is 104 days a year. Well, if you treat your body like an amusement park and, and, and do nothing all Sunday, you're going to lose Monday too because Monday you're going to feel like garbage. You're going to feel tired. You're going to feel like a, like a lag. It's almost like when I teach at seminars, I talk about trying to like start a car in cold. The engine just won't turn over and Jay boss you are right keep moving that's the message here because if you keep moving you will feel better now the big thing with sunday is and we'll get into the workout that i'm going to do it doesn't need to be some epic crushing ordeal like it doesn't need to be some savage beast mode workout you don't have to go to a gym i'm just in my garage now i'm fortunate enough to have a squat cage and a, and a skier you can see in the background and I got a pull-up bar, uh, and I got a tower I'll do dips on. But here's the deal with that. I say I'm fortunate, but I also worked for that, right? Uh, and, and, and I also spent money on it. If you look at this squat cage back here, uh, this will actually, like, I won't show you, but it can fold up into the wall. Like, you're looking at 500 bucks. That's what I chose to spend my money on. I didn't spend it on booze. I didn't spend it on a bunch of junk food. Uh, I didn't spend it on partying or shoes or clothes or whatever. That's what I bought with my money. So now I got a squat cage. I can do some pull-ups. And then my tower, and uh, you can see I've actually got one right there. You know, this just folds right down. You could buy one of these for, I don't know, 200 bucks, 150 bucks on uh, whatever shopping channel you want. So. You know, one of the things with that is like, it's not hard to just have a couple of things around the house to get some work in. But anyway, you don't have to go to a gym. And I'm not crushing myself today. I'm just going to do 50 reps of each exercise, just 50. The work that I'm doing today, it's called 50 QR. Uh, for those of you that don't necessarily know me or, or don't know that I did this, I wrote a best selling book for men's health called Maximus Body. Uh, Maximus Body is a book. Uh, that's predicated on a couple things. One, psychology, goal setting, silencing negative voices, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's a huge part of the book, but half the book actually that's about training up here. It's all sports psychology stuff. When I say sports psychology though, I'm not talking about playing football or playing basketball. It's sports psychology lessons uh, for the everyday person uh, to help you in your everyday life. Part of the book is nutrition. Part of the book is uh, then training. And so uh, this workout, there's 100 workouts in the book. This workout's from the book. It's called 50 QR. And the reason it's called QR, quality reps. The goal is to get 50 quality pull-ups, 50 quality push-ups, 50 quality dips. So uh, I'm making myself a little uh, chart right now so I can write down my numbers. And this is the perfect workout to go live for 
because it's not predicated on intensity. Like I could do this in 15 minutes, I could do it in 10 minutes, I could do it in 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, like an hour. Like I just have to get the quality reps done. I'll usually do uh, sets of somewhere between three and five reps. Like I, I, I don't really go more than that uh, for the pull-ups. You know, for the push-ups, maybe set to 10. For the dips, maybe set to 10. So here's the deal. I'm gonna get through this and I'm gonna check in and it's gonna be a little bit of a question and answer. So if you have questions, I am here to help. Uh, I'm using a lot more of my lives to connect with my audience. I'd really love to connect with you. My goal uh, is really to help people be better. I've seen how exercise can change people's lives. So um, that's what I'm here to do. And then I'll explain what I'm doing. Hopefully you can learn and, and then away we go. Now, I got this hoodie on, it's getting hot. All right, there we go. Whew, okay. So for my pull-ups today, I'm not doing standard pull-ups. I'm really big on grip strength, uh, really important for jiu-jitsu, really important for MMA fighting, um, and, and also beyond that, like just for health, grip strength is a huge uh, indicator of longevity. So I'm actually doing axle bar pull-ups. So you can see I've got a thin bar here, we have a big ass thick bar here, which makes it super hard to pull up super hard uh, to hang on to. If I'm doing regular pull-ups, you know, I can do sets of five to 10, but with the fat bar, it makes it a lot harder, especially a person my weight, but I gotta work those, uh, work the way those look with these big forearms, all right? So, I'm gonna start here. I'll do uh, maybe three reps. Yeah, I wish that thing was like eight feet taller in the air so I could not have to bend my knees and just scrumple up to get them, but that's fine. You got to do what you got to do. So there's three reps. And then uh, you see me over here. We'll hop on this dip machine here. of a workout like this, you can do this in any order. Like, it doesn't really matter. We do three and three. Uh, you can do five and five. I'm gonna say push-ups to the end. Like, it doesn't really matter how you get the reps. You just gotta get them in. And uh, I'm looking at the time now. It's 2.39. So let's say we started this workout because I just wanna give you a time of, like, you know, how long this actually takes. Write this down. We started this workout at 2. 38. So, 238, let's see how long this takes. Again, it's not for time. The goal is just 50 perfect reps. That's the key. Just two that time. Just two reps. The emphasis is on grip. It's really hard with my setup. A lot of times I like doing chest to bar pull ups. It's really hard when things that short. And also the grip. Like the grip makes it incredibly hard to pull up that high. So a um, little bit of a lesser range of motion than I'm used to, but that's okay because the goal is to train grip strength. And again, just 50 perfect reps of each. Here we go. Five some dips. One, two, three, four, five. This dip machine, I'm actually here. I've got a couple of places to do dips. I do dips on this guy too. But uh, sometimes I like to switch it up in that dip machine over there. It's, uh, it's a nice wide grip. So, uh, works the chest in a bit different way. So I got eight dips. That, yeah, get that light out of there, perfect. The light was annoying me. Anyway, if you got questions, I'm here to answer, so get them in. 
I'm here for a limited time. When I'm done this workout, I'm going to go bounce. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go out on tap today. Uh, after this, I'm going to jump in the sauna with my sexy ass wife. Uh, that'll be fun. Um, get some heat therapy, if you will. So, I'm going to hop in the sauna. Maybe have a cold bath after. It'll make for a great day. So that will be uh, that'll be my afternoon. After that, I'll eat some good food. Probably a ribeye steak tonight. Uh, I've actually been playing around with this new. It's a, a Nova Precision oven, and I absolutely love it. You can sous vide stuff. It's, a, it's, a, it's an air fryer. It's a broiler like all at once. So I've been playing with that. Maybe I'll do some chicken wings. And that, and actually, you know what, today I just want to talk about a cheat day and about good food, because uh, I am going to do some uh, chicken wings today. Anyway, I'll talk about like the eating thing, but that's what my day has on tap. All right, so let's go get some more of those pull-ups. Like I said, you got any questions, I'm here to answer them. Uh, anyway, I was going to talk about cheat day food. Here's the deal. If you're going to cheat, make sure you cheat with quality ingredients. Make sure you have the best. I was actually talking to one of my clients today. He likes ice cream. That's a cheat day treat. And uh, I was actually just looking at my phone so I could look up some ingredients. But if you look at like an ice cream like Hagen dazs it's got cream, vanilla bean, egg yolk, and cane sugar. That's it. haagen vanilla is a good choice for your cheat day ice cream. There are other types of ice cream that have add about 30 ingredients to that, and it's just filled with trash. That's not what I want you to have on cheat day. I want you to have the best ice cream. Now, that brand I just mentioned is filled with trash, Blue Bunny from Walmart. A couple things with that, it's, it's, it's ironic, right? Like, if you're going to cheat and you want ice cream, 999 out of a thousand people would pick Hagen Dazs uh, based just on flavor over the Blue Bunny from the Walmart. Like no one in the right mind, if you had Hagen Dazs and Blue Bunny, no one would take the Blue Bunny with all the chemicals in it. They'd take the Hagen Dazs. So it's funny, even though I'm asking you to cheat on your diet, I'm asking you to cheat with style, cheat with quality. Like you're not suffering eating Hagen Dazs ice cream. That's a better choice. Pizza. There's a pizza place in town. They use double zero milled flour imported from Italy. They use uh, organic water, uh, <laughs> some yeast. Uh, they make their own sauce, they make their own cheese, they make their own meat. That's the pizza I want you to have. It's absolutely stunning. It's like a real like brick oven Neapolitan pizza. Uh, another place that has that is Italy. If you ever been to uh, an Italy establishment, um, but that's it's it's one of my favorite you know restaurant market type places. But if you uh, have that type of pizza, like, I'm fine with that. What I'm not okay with is, like, the Little Caesars or the Domino's with the silicone and the cheese and all the other chemicals. So uh, you, you can have something good on cheat day. So back to my wings. And Robert P., should I track the hours? Hold tight. I got you. The whole thing with the chicken wings that I'm going to make is with the chicken wings, I am going to uh, – I bought real chicken wings, organic, uh, from the grocery store. I'm going to lightly dust them with some salt and pepper, and then I'm going to put them essentially in an air fryer. And so it's not adding a bunch of oil. It's not adding a bunch of fat. Like, I've got no problem with eating chicken wings like that. You know, if you want some Frank's hot red sauce, have, have some of that on the side too. But that would be what I want you to do for cheat day. I, I, I don't want you to go to B-dubs or, you know, some other wing establishment. Towards the 130, and thanks for the cheat meal information. Uh, Never even considered that, to be honest. Yeah, Robert B., food quality is everything. That's what keeps your engine running clean. Um, there's a reason people are so fat these days. It's all the processed food we eat. And so the cleaner you can get, the better. But like I said, the wings I'm going to make today, they'll be better than any wings you've ever had. Like, 
Uh, I don't know if any of you are Traeger fans, but like you do smoked wings on Traeger. They're unreal. Like you are not suffering. So even when I have a cheat day, I need the best quality stuff. All right, let's do some pull-ups. Four. Four and seven. So yeah, just have the best quality food. You know, not suffering again. So four and seven, all right? Now, for tracking the hours, uh, I mean, you can track it, honestly, but you don't have to. For those of you that don't know, Robert, I'm gonna give you a bit of a background too. Not you, you obviously know, but people on here. 130 hours to get fit. That's my basic premise for my book, Maximus Body. Here's where I came up with that. In my opinion, a person can get fit in a roughly, we'll call it 130 hours. 130 hours. What does that look like? Not 130 hours in a week. It's not going to work like that. They got to be 130 quality hours. And you can probably only do one truly quality hour a day. So it's going to take you about six months to hit those quality hours. So I'm just plugging in so my phone doesn't die. So it's going to take you about six months to get those 130 hours. So the whole theory. And why I came up with this was that, you know, in my experience training people, if someone could stick with me for three months, six months, sorry, follow my program and do six straight months of an hour hard a day, they would see uh, a meaningful change. That's the reality. So should you track it? Well, I mean, yeah, you could, but to me that becomes monotonous. The point is uh, here, Robert, if you want to get more fit, do me a favor, buy into six months, buy into 180 days, just buy into that. And if you can go six months every day with an hour of solid effort and then eating the right kind of food, and again, you can cheat a little bit like I talked about, then you'll be good to go. You'll be the fittest person you know. Seven dips. So we've been going about 12 minutes right now. And I've got, just racking up my little numbers here. I'm uh, more than halfway done dips. Pull ups, still a ways to go. Third of the way done, but I'm talking more than I'm working out. Just to show you guys, you can kind of chill, you know? Jed, awesome job getting that workout done. Uh, Jed was one of my first. Uh, uh, people on here uh, in, in, in Actually, he got me my first super yesterday supers are these things if you guys value my knowledge You can donate money to me give money to me or highlight your, your comments and that helps me go live more like man listen uh, I know guys making a thousand bucks a live off this if I could make that kind of money I go live Twice every day, you know, so uh, the more you guys give the more it helps me go live So anything you want to throw my way I'm grateful. Tell your friends. Send links out. Like, just support me as much as uh, you can because I like to keep doing this. And here's the deal. What I'm trying to do is just give you real-world fitness advice. No fads, no gimmicks, not flashy. Just real shit. Like, I'm a normal guy like you. You're my kids coming in and out here sometimes. I'm a normal guy like you. Like, just trying to get fit. I'm 45 years old. Never used drugs. Never used TRT. Uh, none of that. So the advice I give you is realist from the heart all right robert p thank you for the info Ooh, been training at a B, B, bjj gym but still look like garbage what well, looks like garbage your body or your bjj 
clarify that. Or both. There we go. Now let's get a big S. Set of dips again. Set of dips. So now we're gonna we're gonna write this down. So I got four pull-ups, seven dips. All right, Robert, here's the recipe for you, okay? Anyone else who's listening, your body looks like garbage. Simple three-step program to fix it. Just follow me here. One, you need a hard hour of exercise every day. I don't even care what it is. Go for a run, go for a jog, do intervals on a bike. Do this 50 QR thing, what I'm doing today. Just give me an hour of hard exercise. That is number one. Number two, sleep eight hours a night, completely blacked out environment. Can't get eight, get seven. Can't get seven, get six. The point is more sleep, the better. And then third, the thing I was talking about earlier, even on your cheat days, I want quality. I want the best of the best. I want the purest, cleanest ingredients. Do those three things. You're going to be golden. Like that, Nick, just eliminate all processed food, sleep eight hours a night, and work out an hour a day. Now, but Bobby, it's so hard. I'll address that in a minute. I got to get my pull ups, you know? Four of those. Let's get some dips. again. So what I got. Four pull-ups, seven dips. All right. Now, the whole thing with the not eating process, who people cry about this, but Bobby, it's really, really hard. Here's the deal. It shouldn't be hard. I'm asking you to eat the Gordon Ramsay diet, the best ingredients, the stuff that gets you the Michelin star, not processed garbage like that. Honestly, can't be that difficult. So knock it off. I'm just asking you to eat the literally the best of the best. Like even if you're gonna drink booze, top shelf. Like just be discriminate with what you put in your body. If you do that, you can sleep more, work out every day, you will be golden. All right, do a little more work here. Really slow pace for me today, but Talking you and learning, so I don't mind that. Four. Seven again. All right. We got any more questions? Four, seven. Oh man, I need one more dip and I'm at 50. I should have just did eight that time. But yeah, Robert P, diet sleep training. You do those three things and you could do that consistently for six months. I promise you, great things will happen. Like it's literally that simple. Cool? All right. Anyone got any questions? Anyone want to donate to my little super fund? I think that's what it's called. I actually don't know how it works on the other end of this. I should watch some lives more to figure it out. How I can monetize, you know. Got an energy drink from First Farm. Even this, one of the cleanest energy drinks there is. Just an example. Caffeine's from natural. Uh, caffeine from green tea versus like some of these play things that have synthetic caffeine. So even when I'm enjoying an energy drink, it's still one of the cleanest on the market. 
right? There's a set of pots here. I need one measly dip. Just one. I mean, maybe I need to get up here for one rep. Right? There we go. Got my one rep in. So, one. 50 dips. Now all I need pull ups and push ups. That's it. So we'll get to work. Woo. Feeling good. 50 50 50. Looks like magic. Three. Now let's get push ups. Push ups I'll do more of because they're easy, frankly. Ten reps, chest to ground. All right, 20 minutes so far in this workout. Not a big deal, right? Chad, do you have macros breakdown you recommend for shredding body fat? Main point uh, to eat real food. Well, yes, I mean, the main point is to eat real food. If you're eating real food, it's hard to get fat. And by the way, just in general, when I talk about eating real food, you can't murder it or get it from a tree. It's probably not real. So you also like, yeah, on cheat day you have pizza or bread, but that's only like once a week. That's not an everyday thing. So even if it's made from real ingredients, like you don't want to have that stuff every single day. Most of my diet is meat, nuts, seeds, and berries, to be honest with you. So that's the biggest thing, the real food. When it comes to macros, we're going to break this down real simple for you a gram per pound of body weight a day of protein. So if you're 190 pounds, Jed, how much you weigh? 190, 190 grams of protein a day. If you're 220, 220 grams of protein a day. That's your number one rule. Always eat a protein forward diet. Number two, limit your carbs. I'm gonna say to 100 grams a day. You wanna shred up, limit those carbs. And then whatever's left over, get the fat. I probably wouldn't go over 2,200 calories in a day if you're really trying to shred up. Uh, but somebody like me, I'm 240, I work out like crazy. I, I obviously eat a lot more than that, but yeah. So uh, if you're 200 pounds, 200 grams of protein a day, limit it to 100 grams of carbs and the rest of the calories make up with fat, you'll be golden. All right. Let's see, I'll start speeding through this video a little bit. Four. Twelve that time. All right. Really moving now. All right, what do we got? Robert P. Working on the Trinity exercises. Calisthenics leave me feeling better, happier, more accomplished. Yep, I agree. Body weight exercises work best. They also keep you, in terms of your joints, the healthiest and all. Like, I, mean, I look good. Body weight exercises. You can be a big, strong person for body weight exercises. So thank you, Robert P. By the way, to everyone here, I talked to people about this yesterday. If you can buy a super, I think that's what they're called. Highlight your comment, donate some money. I'll stay here a lot longer. Like it just helps me go live a lot more. So if you got a lot of questions, like, you know, my time's not free. Uh, to put it in perspective, 
you know, for an hour phone consultation, I'm charging 300 bucks and you're getting all this free knowledge. So, uh, yeah, you, you, you donate, let's go. Should be like a donation, but question, but you know, don't want to be greedy. All right, so Ben says, how do you balance your gym trainer with BJJ at over 40? Okay, really interesting question. I'm glad you asked this. Well, I'm sure you should do a couple videos on this too. So thank you for the reminder. I'm actually going to write that on my notepad. So, BJJ 40, okay. Let me get a set, and then I got you. Four. Four and twelve. All right, here's the deal. So, how do you balance with the BJJ training? Number one, as I've gotten older, I've learned recovery is key. More sleep, better food, more water. That sets the base of everything. So, a lot of people think they have to scale back their workouts. Not necessarily true. You gotta pay attention to recovery. On top of that, Ben, I'm in a cold plunge every day. I'm in a sauna every day. I'm in Norma Tech massage boots every day. I'm going for a walk every day. So I'm not saying you have to do all those things, but the more recovery, the better. Also, I live in a stress-free life. I have an incredible marriage right now. Things, the kids are going good, work's going good. I'm doing something I love. When you're not stressed, it makes it easier to train again and again and again. So just something to consider. Now, in terms of the work that you're doing, uh, one thing I'd recommend is uh, BJJ four times a week, strength and conditioning four or five times a week, and then make sure your BJJ is mostly uh, technique. Like a lot of guys go in these gym wars. It's not why I'm there. I'm there to learn. I'm there to flow. I'm there to work hard, but not there to crank my neck, crank my shoulder, all that stuff. And so I don't like working with partners that want to fight me all the time. Like I just, I just, I'm not into it. So I do a lot of, uh, in, in, in wrestling, we used to call it a Russian girl, but I like just flowing, just flowing. And if you can flow, that is a way better thing. So basically what I mean by flow is you go at 50% strength and you just drill. Move fast, 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 fast. Thanks for all the love, by the way, Jose Mar. But uh, yeah, if you can just drill, 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 drill. That way you're not hurt, you're not banged up, you're not a mess. And then you can keep training hard more and more and more. So those would be the two ways I would deal with that. Four more pull-ups. Ten push-ups. We're almost coming to an end. All right, I'm liking this. One more set of four pull-ups and I'm done. And then a set of six push-ups and I'm finished. So, yeah, I mean, we started at 2.38. Three minutes left, or two minutes left. It's exactly a 30 minute workout. Well, I'm able to talk to you 50, 50, 50 and done. So before I get my last set, just something to consider and then I'll sign off. Here's the deal. If you do 50 reps a day, 50 reps, that's it. If you do that every day for a year, you get 18,600. So imagine I just did this 50, 50, 50 every morning for 30 minutes. And like I said, I, I could have done this in 20. I'm talking a lot. But 50, 50, 50. By the end of the year, that's 18,000 pull-ups, 18,000 push-ups, 18,000 push-ups. Have you ever done that much in your life? Probably not. Now you have the V-taper. Now you have the nice physique. Now you look good. It's really not that complicated. You know what I mean? It's that simple. All right, let's get four. Be done with this.
and then six. I'll just show you, I do a ton of body weight stuff, the kind of physique that builds. Like, not bad. Six foot three. 240 pounds, and again, just 50 a day. I promise you, you do 50 of these every day, you'd look like that. So listen, thank you, everybody. Way to kill it. Workout's done for me. Took exactly 29 minutes, and if you can't afford 29 minutes on a Sunday, you don't care that much. Peace.